Hey everyone, I'm Zoc Lee and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. This week's update is another minor release that contains crash fixes and smaller improvements as the team continues working towards the next major release. Just in case you missed it, in the live stream that we had earlier this week, we discussed more about the performance optimizations currently being worked on. Here's an example of one of the worlds being used as a benchmark to analyze sim speed. It's a simple scenario with 16 red ships and 16 simulated players, which are all moving at a speed of 20 meters per second. This is running on a system with an i5 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 750 Ti. Before the optimizations, this scenario would run with a sim speed of around 0.5 and would take 33 milliseconds to update rigid bodies. In comparison, after the optimizations were made, the exact same scenario was running at close to 0.9 sim speed and was only taking 8 milliseconds to update rigid bodies. This is just one of many performance optimizations being worked on. We're also working to make the third-person camera function better with creations that have subgrids, so there's less snapping to first-person when rotating the camera around the main grid. In other news, next Monday we will be streaming, as usual, at 7pm CEST on the Keen Community Network over on Twitch. In this stream, we'll be talking with Marek and Olga about good AI as well as the general AI challenge and discussing how these projects have been progressing and evolving over the last couple of months. But that's all for now. If you're interested in the full list of bug fixes, tweaks and improvements in this update, please see the change log on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week and here's something to end on. Recently, I've been reading a book about anti-gravity. I just can't seem to put it down. <laughs>